Hi there. You might be wondering why I'm in the garage in my apron, a little space heater, eating some tasty pasta, lasagna. Well, A, we had made lasagna yesterday, it's really good. B, really cold for Texas, it was like 80 this weekend, it's 30 today. And Oddly enough, so we can have much on the camper. Um, it's a big buying week. Um, we have a bunch of. Oh, this is so good. All right, we have a bunch of odds and ends. Mm, I think that's well. Get a bunch of odds and ends that um, got bought. Got bought the skin. But all that, about the metal for the floor, about the metal for the roof, uh, walls are going to skin in uh, 32nd of an inch, sounds really thin, not really that thin. Uh, the roof will be, the ceiling, the roof will be 16, uh, 16th of an inch roughly, and the floor is going to be 8th inch. Uh, that's all ordered, ordered a couple more, 6, actually ordered 100 more feet of 1x1, one one, so I can start working on the structure on the inside. Um... The guide rails came in. Uh, I still haven't got confirmation of shipping it on my aluminum blocks to make my, my bearing blocks. But today, the only thing I'm really doing the camper today, this week, other than just doing some odds and ends stuff, is I gotta drill these out and tap them, which is gonna be an interesting, interesting thing. Um, but, like, Right now, the only thing left I have to order is going to be. Mmm, cover tray shoe. Alright. For it to actually be a working camper, this is the bed and the insulation. Insulation is the thing that can. Insulation, the plastic the inner liner, we can buy that directly from, uh, from um, Home Depot. And uh, I actually got ordered the Sikaflex. I, I decided to use Sikaflex. Uh, I think it's 252. Um, it's uh, a caulking sealant adhesive that's designed for um, automotive. I'm choosing to do that instead of um, this is a tape. So I'm worried I'm trying to line up a 4 by 8 sheet of aluminum on this thing. Cool, it's uh looks great, stick it on with the tape. Oh, it's a half inch off. Well it's not coming off anymore. With the Sikaflex, I'll have about 40 minute open time. So I need to make a quick MasterCard order for that. Uh, the loom's not supposed to show up for another week. MasterCard only takes a day. So I'll do that later to this week, but it's all purchasing stuff right now. Uh, order the second Switch Pro panel. Gotta order Galans to go through the wall of the camper. I'm going to actually order a Glenn to go through the wall, the, the, the truck body. Um, there's going to be too much stuff going back and forth to use existing ports. But I'll start off for the Switch Pro um, panel to work. It's daisy chain, so it goes to where the Switch Pro panel is to the next Switch Pro interface, HMI. Um, I was hoping it would be like a T to junction actually at the at the at the uh, Switch Pro switch pack itself, but it's not. So um, it's got like a 30 plus foot run. It's got to go from middle of the camper up, down, through through the cab, all up to the front, and um, plug in there. I didn't know what it was going to be because I didn't tell you exactly how it's run. Just that you can you can do it. So that's one of the reasons why also I didn't glue in the. Um, The Switch Pro um, top plate of the three print parts because then I can take it out. So, without further ado, I'm going to cut away from this. It's so good though. And uh, mill some stuff. I'll, uh, I'll show you guys what I'm doing.
course it's right in between the two of these. Three, six, three spot, whatever. We're drilling, tapping a hole in it. That's super duper accurate. Got our lube. Drill on. So I got this one for a reason. It's designed to clear, but not over, get too much, I guess you want to call it tread, traction, whatever. Too much friction, so it's only threaded for the first bit, which is all I need. So this is going to be a little bit different. Before I had it clamped down real hard, and I forgot to mark my zero on this guy. So I just want it loose so it has some play. The last thing I wanted to do is yank it the wrong direction and cause it to break. I don't want it to help prove that I definitely didn't zero it. Okay, it's from right there. down force until I start actually cutting some proper threads and then I'll just fill some lubricant tighten up just a little bit this is cutting like a dream right now Actually, the way out a lot of times, like just when I can break a tap. So, this should minimize the chance of breaking. I say that because I want about one tap or quarter twenty fine thread. A quarter twenty eight, I think. I could go faster by putting a, um, a drill to it, but it really increases the chances of breakage. Four years later, there we go. So that will slide in, get two cross bolts, and be done. So now I gotta do it again.